In this update you will watch us finally planting the seedlings into the market gardening, preparing the greenhouse for its high school purposes. You can also catch up how the herbal garden has been evolving and we've got a creative idea, a climbing aid to support the beans. Also we harvested our first adult vegetables. It has been raining cats and dogs for the last weeks. This made it somewhat uncomfortable to do the work we planned to do in mid-May, specifically planting all our seedlings. At least we didn't have to water the market garden. We had about 1000 seedlings to be planted. Lots of different species that had to be arranged in a way we could identify them again to be sure which bed they had to go in. In fact, that we already are not 100% sure about the proper arrangement made this a bit more difficult than we're expecting surprises. The process of preparing the beds for being planted involves uncovering them from the mulch foil as well as loosening the soil in depth. Actually, we calculated to work several days on the planting task. However, we again had great help from friends and together we could accomplish that in only 6 hours. Raincoat fashion show included. The existing 40 beds are arranged in four plots. Plot A are root and leafy vegetables and plot B consists of mainly fruit vegetables. Cabbages are growing in plot C and plot D is a mix of misfits like potatoes, lentils, corn, lettuces and more. Now we're hoping for warmer and sunnier days soon to have the plants grow fast. So in the video of week 32 and 33, Nini built the herbal garden. Here you see the transition in a 360 degree angle. Now that all our young plants have left the elementary school, we have space to produce more vegetables closer to the house. Here you can see us preparing the floor of the greenhouse the same way as we did it with our beds.
We ended up planting over 60 tomatoes, 15 peppers, 5 melanzanis and 15 cucumbers. Let's see how they will develop over the next weeks. Our first vegetables are ready to be harvested. So today it's radish, pak choy and rocket. We seeded the radish in three different kinds, so we get the red one as well as the dotted red and white ones. A lot of pak choy is already blooming, so we wait till we can get the seeds for the next season. And the rocket is really a pain in the ass to wash, but will be a nice add to the next pizza. On our south facing wall we decided to create some natural shadow and protection against the sun. As I have good experience with climbing beans to do that job, we set up a rig for them which should be covered in the coming weeks or months. <laughs> <laughs> 